What's up you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to the channel. So today I'd like to make a video for our upcoming bug bounty guide. The bug bounty guide, that's something like about five years ago, right? I, I started with this whole uh, social media thing. I started with my own business and stuff like that. And basically, at this point, um, we are working on a new version of this bug bounty guide because this is a very old product. It is. It's just the case. There are all dated, li all dated links to labs. I don't like the structure anymore. I have a lot of more experience. I know new things that I want to teach you. So I was like, I have to remake this thing, but it's going to be massive. So it's going to take a long ass time. And that's exactly what we took. We took our damn sweet time. What I didn't do is I didn't remake content that I already made before. So you'll see some mixed up content in the sense that sometimes you'll see one template, sometimes you'll see another template. But what we've done is we have collected pieces or well, 200 pieces of content, 250 plus pieces of content which contain different uh, exploits. So we have about 20 plus exploits in the first part because we've decided to split this up. We want to have uh, several parts for this. This is going to be the first part. And then the first part, we want to focus on main application hacking and introduction to bug bounties. We'll get more onto the bigger bug bounty sections later. Uh, or at least a little bit more advanced techniques like uh, XSS, filter bypasses in a proper way. We'll add some more exploits later. But for now, we try to focus really on that getting into shit and how to make, uh, how to actually get from the practice platform that we've created onto a real bug bounty platform. That's what we're trying to get you to do. So we'll start with introducing you to bug bounties. We'll start with teaching you a few techniques. And once you know those, we'll let you practice them on our labs. We'll ask you in a quiz about them. And we're going to go over the topics that I want to cover today. So what you'll get from this course is First of all, uh, ignore this message to our reviewers. That's not going to be in the full course, of course. We'll start with the introduction, where we have a Discord link, course support, instructions on how to use the course as well, because I think that it's important that we give you some instructions at the beginning. Like, we don't need to teach you everything, of course. That's not the, the, the whole goal is not to say, OK, this is what you're going to have to do from start to finish with it. No, just some general instructions how to most effectively get everything that you need to get from this guide. So it'll take about 20 hours to 100, depending on how fast you learn, what your experience level is at this point. But it should contain all of the information that is required, except for the basics on scripting, the basics on network concepts. Those are in separate courses of ours, and they're really cheap as well. Um, that's not what we're going to try and teach you today. We're going to try and teach you, first of all, how to get started, what's the difference between bug bounties uh, and pen testing, um, what does a bug bounty platform look like, what are their interests, what are the interests of each stakeholder here, and then we'll go into the intricacies of bug bounties a bit more before we go over to broad scope versus narrow scope. A lot of people ask me what's the best to start with, what is the difference between each, that's what you learn here. And then you have picking a target and a platform because you need to know how to pick a good target and you need to know how to pick a good bug bounty program as well. Very important there because if you know how to pick those two, they're going to help you massively get started on the right foot. That's what you want here. You want to get started on the right foot, right? So with this, you should be able to pick out the right ones, not spend time on programs which are not likely to give you a return on investment, both in money and in learning terms and in time and whatever. And then we'll start with how to enumerate those targets from top to bottom. That's important because once you get a target, you need to enumerate everything from that as well. Once you have that under your belt, we'll move into the attack section where we'll start with CSRF followed by our labs. Then we have click jacking labs as well, followed by two-factor authentication, OTP bypass. We'll probably build some labs for that as well. We're working on that to add those into the course before launch. Then we have CAPTCHA bypasses, little chapter on that, JWT hacking, and then WordPress. 
WordPress, we still have to make the video on, but this is a big chapter. And I'm not sure if we can have labs on that by the time that this course launches, but we are also working on WordPress labs. So these things are coming up, labs.hexpert.com. You can go on there even if you don't have the course. Then broken access control and broken access control labs, followed by insecure direct object reference and their labs. SQL injection as explained by me with a bit of a cheat sheet and by Pink Draconian as well. What is SQL injection? What is the type? How do you detect it? And then followed by my labs. Yes, you heard that right. I have SQL injection labs available. If somebody fucked them up so bad that the labs are broken, don't worry, just wait 30 minutes and it'll be fine or just send us an email and we'll get that fixed for you. Then we have cross-site scripting, of course, with cross-site scripting labs and extra videos. Now, this is a big section, of course, because I love cross-site scripting, duh. And then we have mutation XSS followed by template injections and template injection labs. Analyzing JavaScript files fully, we've put that in here again as a separate chapter. This is important as well, of course, because you need to know what to find from this. We've explained this before, but since this is about cross-site scripting, a little bit of repetition doesn't hurt there. And then we go content security protection. An introduction to XXE as well is something that we've put in here, XXE Labs. XXC extra videos as well, once again, if we can, we put them in. We'll have SSRF or server side request forgery, followed by business logic vulnerabilities. And with SSRF, we also have labs. So I should add those SSRF labs. I shouldn't forget that. So I am taking notes as we speak because, of course, I need to have the labs in there as well. We have them, why not, right? Then we have business logic vulnerabilities and business logic vulnerability labs. We have LFI RFI by Pink Draconian with our labs as well. We have the open redirect section. We don't really, well, we have labs on that, but we've reduced much into one because it's just, I believe, one or two labs, so it's not too big on there. Command injection, we don't have labs on. As you can imagine, we don't want people to fuck up our server. I mean, that happens enough as is because yours truly likes to open works, uh, uh, debug consoles uh, as root and never close them. And you might say it's only my fault, but I promise you it's not just my fault this time. Other people are involved. I will drag them down into the mud. No, no, I'm kidding, of course. But uh, what I'm talking about is that our labs do get hacked on a regular basis. And I want to make a video on that soon because I want to make a, thing, a few things like clear about that situation. You might have seen us get hacked before. You might have seen, oh, tokens got leaked. Yeah, I want to explain how that happened exactly uh, and the whole course of action because I don't begrudge the XSS twat at all. To be fair, I, I really like what he's done for us. He's helped us a lot by exposing vulnerabilities in our labs, which could bring them down to a very large degree and even had consequences that uh, were reaching far to our GitHub. And uh, I even made the mistake of thinking that he deleted our GitHub, but he didn't. Like, I was just dumb and my own admin stuff removed me from the GitLab repositories. So I'm an idiot and I do open, owe an open apology for that. Uh, but I'll make a full video on that because I do think it is important to explain what happened and how we dealt with the situation. Then we move on to HPP or parameter pollution. I don't think we have labs on that at this point, but we'll be adding that in the future. Broken authentication, um, when I say future, I mean very near future, by the way. Um, components with known vulnerabilities and directory indexes. And then we have course misconfigurations. Section three is about the tools, Burp Suite and Zap only, to not overload you in this regard and how to use them most effectively. You'll be using Burp or Zap throughout the course, I know, but I wanted to have these sections in because I wanted you to condense these materials into one section. If then later you wanted to refer back to just this one section about Zap, you can easily do that and find things. And then finishing off, of course, with the reporting, practicing what you've learned, RAT recommendations for integrity programs. Yes, I'll give you programs that are not just integrity, by the way. I'll be updating this by the time we launch on the 25th this Saturday. 
there will be recommendations from me for targets which you can attack and I'll even make you diagrams for how to most effectively go at it. Isn't that great? Come on guys, what the hell more do you want? I mean, uh, I, I'm sort of going on, on a limb here and throwing everything out of the closet. All you have to do is execute. And then we have the demonstration of the main app methodology for this part, for this section. Uh, now, this is just part one, as I said, will be launching uh, on January 25th, 2025, this Saturday. Uh, but the product is available for pre-purchase. Uh, um, so if you are interested in that, I'll have a link in the description below with a pretty hefty discount. Normally it's $80, but we've marked it down all the way to $27.65 pre-launch that is so that's an early bird sale special if you want to grab it now it's going to be heavily discounted um up until the launch of course thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it uh, this is pretty much what i would like to go through if i were to start again so even if you don't have money for the course even if you're not gonna buy it you know what to go to I mean, my syllabus is open for a reason. I try to be very transparent about what you, knowledge you need to gather. And uh, if you want to gather all of that knowledge yourself, it is possible. We've just done that work for you in this instance. We've gathered all of that knowledge into one. So if you're interested in grabbing these years worth of knowledge for just 980 times three monthly payments or 2765 in total, uh, well, that's not 980, isn't 2765 in total, I know, but I mean the total price, Jesus, Wes. So, uh, I'll, I'll maybe, uh, let's just view a few sections of the course, shall we? So, um, basically, from this course, what you'll see is like this. Well, well, first of all, these are the instructions of how to use this course. Then you'll go through, you'll go through a video, there's a PDF, there might be a little bit of a quiz in there, and I know I can catch a lot of you off guard with these quizzes, so pay attention because details matter in bug bounties. That's exactly what I say here, details matter, but a lot of people still seem to ask me the same question. And I'm not gonna pose that question here because that would be spoiling myself. So that's basically what I've been making. In part two, we'll be going more into the uh, advanced exploit techniques and in part three we'll be focusing more on the broad scope hacking so i hope you enjoyed i hope you had a nice evening day weekend or whatever you this year experiencing turbulence hope you had a nice turbulence Let, let's not go that far <laughs> but i hope you have a good day my amazing hacker friends you've been amazing thank you so much for watching really appreciate it i'll see you in the next one bye amazing hackers